if you are planning to buy a tablet for video editing then this video is definitely going to help you in this video i will talk about ipad 10th generation video editing capability using an app that is called insert video editing app in this video i will edit the video and also give you some tips how you can edit on ipad os and also you can see how video editing is on ipad 10th generation so without wasting any more time let's jump into this video insert is a very good video editing app you can edit your videos up to 4k 60 fps i will choose some video clips and then i will edit those clips First of all, I will choose the aspect ratio. As you can see here, the tools are available. Here you can choose the aspect ratio. You can choose landscape or you can choose portrait mode or many other aspect ratio as per your need. Then I will cut and split these clips into many clips. And in this way, you can crop that I will change the color algorithm by going to filter and I will adjust the color according to my preference. I can select lightness, contrast and everything in this way as you can see here the difference between lightness and also you can increase or decrease contrast level to make your video more appealing after these processes i will add some saturation okay then i will if you want to do more edits you can tweak these features but i will not use these features After that, I will click on OK and if you want to select this edit with another clip, you have to click on the double click button and it will add all the filters to your next clips. Then I will add some transition effect. There are many transition effects which you can use according to your preference. You can adjust the clips according to your preference. You can this way drag and drop the clips. As you can see here, I have cropped and then I have readjusted the clips. Then I will cut these clips and also I will select in this way. You can decrease the volume and if you click on the double click tick button, it will be muted all the clips will be muted in this way you can add the speed if you click on 2x it will be fast forwarded as you can see here this is playing in 2x speed after that i will add some text at the start of the video so i have to click on this text button then i have to write whatever i want to show on this video suppose i am writing editing on ipad then also you can adjust the font size or the font style actually there are many font styles available in the pre version and also you can drag to any area you want or also you can adjust the size like this and there are many styles are formed so you can use these preset styles or you can make your own suppose i am selecting this i can decrease the border color so it will be like that so in this way you can edit your text also you can change the color then you can 
use the glow effect but it will not be effective here you can use label that is actually background also you can change the opacity of the text then I will change the size of the text also if you want to increase or decrease you can do that also the background size can be increased or decreased and also the space between the alphabets can be increased in this way moreover you can use bold color italics underline that or you can use double a so all the features are actually available so these are some great editing tools that can make your text look better also you can use transition or motion effect various motion effects give a good look to your text now it will appear like this as you can see here so I have added the text also sometimes you need to use another video on the top of your existing video in that case you have to select the peep video like this click on peep and in this you have to select a clip and in this way you can increase the size so that it can fit into the screen now suppose I want only three to four seconds of this clip so I have to select on split and then I have to delete the extended portion in this way and also I have to decrease the volume okay now it will look like this on the top of your video this video is playing so this is PIP mode you can also add text effect on the PIP mode so suppose I want text on the PIP video so I have to select the area from which the text will appear okay I have to click on ok and then text and then I have to write suppose I am writing back of iPad okay you can change the color you can change the font style whatever you want to do also you can change the position suppose I am selecting this text okay I am selecting ok and now it will look like this back of the iPad back of iPad so in this way you can add text also now everything has been done I have used a lot of features now I will export this video and show you how much time actually does it take as iPad 10th generation is powered by a 14 bionic chipset editing is a bridge on this tablet I will select mp4 and I will select 60 fps as you can see 63 MB and here you can see the speed of this tablet it is rendering the video and it just takes some seconds so editing is great on iPad 10th generation if you are planning to buy a tablet for editing videos at a budget then iPad 10th generation is the best option for you this is the final output that I have made on this tablet using iPad 10th generation hope this video has helped you to learn about the video capability or actually video editing capability of iPad 10th generation hope this video will help you to take the right decision if you want to buy this tablet or any other tablet feel free to ask me if you have any questions regarding this tablet in your mind and hit the like button share this video subscribe the channel for more such interesting videos thank you very much